Momoshiki could be emerging very soon and the preview of the next chapter only proves this further. Every time Boruto has been low on chakra, the monster has grabbed his chance to possess and control his body. The reason it seems like he will make his two blue vortex debut in the 13th chapter has something to do with what was revealed about the next chapter. The preview text talks about the potential fallout of Konoha as Boruto was caught off guard by Jura's attack. Further it stated that Konoha will be overwhelmed by tremendous power as well as a question about the ending of Boruto versus Jura. So there are a few confusing things in this. For example, what exactly do they mean by Konoha's fallout? Is it like Bug and Masuri will finally make their move to destroy the people of Konoha or is it a straight reference to the destruction of the village from the future sequence? Further when we know Boruto was caught off guard, how is the preview raising the possibility for a Boruto versus Jura scenario? This means just because Jura missed his vitals, the first round of their real fight must begin in the next chapter. The line where tremendous power is mentioned is also fishy as Boruto Boruto doesn't seem to be in the right state to release a huge amount of energy and Jura might be on his way to do the same whether it would be by destroying everything or by annihilating the people of Konoha one after another but looking at how a fallout for the village is on its way and some overwhelming powers will be unleashed in the upcoming fight despite Boruto not being in the peak condition it can be concluded that it's going to be Momoshiki who will take him over to fight Jura or it may be even Kawaki for various reasons first and foremost it's very likely that Kawaki will activate his karma that would resonate with Boruto, awakening the monster inside his body. Further, Momoshiki may have already seen the future where Kawaki becomes the menace, so the best he could do is to destroy him. But as said by Jura in the last chapter, he wants to get Boruto killed somehow, as Kawaki is sufficient for the tail be sacrificed. This gives him a kind of plot armor, since Jura will not let anything happen to the only sacrificial of Suzuki. So if Momoshiki emerges to attack Kawaki, Jura would be the one protecting him. This means both the Kama builders have found their bodyguards and and the Boruto vs Jura fight might actually become Momoshiki vs Jura. The enhancement of Boruto's skills and abilities will also be leveraged by Momoshiki and it seems like the fallout mentioned in the preview is actually the most anticipated destruction of Konoha. Momoshiki can escalate the powers of Boruto to whole new levels like when he turned the Rasengan into Rasengan, he could do the same to his new abilities. From creating a mini Uzuhiko to deal with his opponents to creating an unstoppable variant which could wipe out the entire village. Well, Momoshiki would even gain access to the the flying thunder god Jutsu, a skill created by Minato that Boruto is still perfecting. It would have been cooler if he could get some advice from his grandfather on using this technique. But even though that's impossible for Boruto, what if I told you you can get advice from Minato using your smartphone? I'm not even kidding. The sponsor of today's video, Coco AI, will let you chat with the fourth Hokage Minato by making him your 3D AI buddy. You can ask him a number of questions and he will answer them in his own voice. Coco AI gives you a personalized experience which is unique to their platform by bringing your favorite anime characters to life. So why just watch your favorite characters then you can actually interact with them. So download the app today from the link in the description right now. The preview also indicates the fight taking place inside Konoha which means Jura is about to enter the village to wreak havoc very soon. Now the question remains who will win this fight? I have already discussed how Borushiki would be the most formidable creature to ever exist and you can check out these videos to find out more. But today we we will understand the fight between Borushiki and Jura and if Momoshiki actually stands a chance after taking over Boruto or if he's gonna turn out like all bark and no bite. But one of the main reasons for Momoshiki to steal the spotlight comes from his mysterious disappearance from the plot for more than a year. The time skip came back, the three year period passed, something did happen in between which frightened Koji as well as Boruto and all of this fuels up his most awaited comeback. The author is aware of the mysterious aura that he has built around Momoshiki, his Debut needs to be goaded, otherwise his character will lose the charm that it used to have in part 1. I personally want the new chapter to end on a cliffhanger where Momoshiki appears and says something in the lines of it's been a while Kawaki. This would bring back his villainous energy which carried the first part of the story. So let's take a look at the predictions made by you guys for the upcoming chapter. The first one comes from our long term subscriber Haley Stubbs who believes it would either be a flashback, the interference of Kashin Koji which might reveal the role of Orochi Maru or the debut of Momoshiki. I would say there is actually a good amount of chance for a flashback sequence to appear. The second volume of the manga also began with the flashback of Sasuke and Boruto's training which also explained how the prodigy lost his master. Now that it's the beginning of the fourth volume, we can definitely expect a small flashback sequence again. I'm saying this because we have seen patterns in the first part of the manga which dealt with the chapter numbers. This time we could have a flashback in the beginning of every volume starting with an even number. Similar to how a character died or got sealed on 
every double digit chapter in part 1. Looking at the flashbacks of chapter 1, it cleared a few mysteries for us including the fate of Sasuke, how Code got his scar, Boruto mastering his sensei's techniques, etc. Now the mysteries from the past that we need to get solved include how Kashin Koji met Boruto, the source of their knowledge, if there's someone else in their team, as well as the origin of the first soul thorn bulb that Koji mentioned. But something more vital than these events, which can also be answered through a flashback, is the incident of Momoshiki, which instilled fear in the hearts of Koji and Boruto. So if the monster is making his first appearance in the next chapter, chances are the flashback sequence will show us the menace that Momoshiki created when Boruto was training under Koji. This would add up to the overall theme of the chapter, focusing on Momoshiki's impactful return, as well as the reveal of Koji's role in the story. The second possibility talks about the role of Orochimaru and how he may be helping Koji to get back Boruto. I do believe that Kashin Koji could perform reverse summoning to protect Boruto at this moment, but I'm more inclined towards all of this being a setup to Momoshiki's reveal. So if it's not retrieving Boruto, Koji might talk to his ally, which may be Orochimaru, to discuss how they will bring him back. The comeback of Orochimaru would make Boruto the student of both the Sanins who once trained his father and sensei. So looking at how symbolic it would be, it's definitely possible for Orochimaru to make an appearance. Like what if he's the one who informed Kashin Koji about the soul thorn bulb? Could he be doing his experiments on it from the beginning? Or was it Amado as the soul thorn bulb could actually be man-made? Just like how Amado modified Shinjutsu into cybernetics. Well, check out this video of mine later to find out more. The next prediction comes from Teja, who says Aida may be sending Daemon to help Kawaki since there is no way for Jura to switch his plans. The possibility for a Shinju vs Cyborg situation is also there and Daemon may not have to fight with one but three Shinjus. Assuming Momoshiki would appear to take over Boruto, Daemon's job would be to protect Aida from Bug Shinju and he may even get into a fight with Masuri since she must be with Bug as well. But as we could see Boruto destroying Hidari with Uzuhiko, a Shinju who was made from Sasuke's chakra, I don't think the other human based tentails should be a big deal to Daemon. On, since he wasn't that impressed by Uzuhiko which means he can do better. So Masuri and Bak Shinju are mere folders against Daemon. It would be interesting for them to make an appearance right now and get annihilated by either an Osusuki or a cyborg. Apart from the theories of Momoshiki's emergence, Kawaki has also obtained a chance to prove himself. He could tap into a brand new karma mode if he has got one just to fight with Jura. It may or may not grow a horn over his head but I don't think he would get a better chance to shine. Other than that, if Momoshiki Momoshiki is not appearing anytime soon, Hima might be the one to heal Boruto at this moment. After getting healed, Boruto will return to the battlefield to fight with his new arch enemy himself. But assuming Momoshiki is destined to emerge, he could absorb chakra from Himawari, similar to how he used Naoto's Biju chakra back in the day to destroy Jura. The possibility of something like that happening also enhances the chances for Kunha's destruction to take place very soon. He would amplify the Kyubi chakra into an enormous Rasengan, which could instantly turn the village to ruins. There's a question that I can't stop thinking about. Boruto being hit by Jura makes it possible for Kawaki to kill him. So will he persuade to make his move on Boruto? Or will the Hokage interrupt as Boruto is a vital asset to Konoha at the moment? Shikamaru's interference could get him on the radar of Kawaki's suspicion list. So whether he would involve himself into saving Boruto or not is debatable. A Delta vs Jura kind of scenario is also very likely to happen as she has promised Aida to protect him. It could be that Amado has upgraded her with new power up which might have made her slightly powerful than his other cyborgs. But it's just a hypothesis. Technically he should have been able to modify her with the remains of Shibai but since he appears to be the mastermind it doesn't make sense for him to go brutally against the Shinjus. He could have made all his moves in accordance to his huge plan which is to destroy the shinobi system once for all. And looking at how things end up everything is perfectly adding up. The theory that I think would work the best here is RKB being Kawaki's mother who died due to some shinobi conflict. It's not just about the similarity of their facial features, but Delta seems to use the exact same arm manipulation power which is also possessed by Kawaki. So what if it's not some cybernetics, but the power inherited by RKB that was naturally passed down to Kawaki as well as her clone. We even saw Delta finding Kawaki from blood signature and this only hints at their potential connection which could change everything about the story. Aida knows everything but she is being silent to prevent any chaos from happening. But once Kawaki would get to know about the true reason of his mother's death, he could furiously go on a rampage to destroy the shinobi system. This may be why Amado wants him to revive RKB. He wants to reveal the truth to him in one way or another. I'm soon bringing a full video on this topic so if you are interested, subscribe to the channel right now to not miss anything. Also
also check out these videos for more amazing theories. I will see you next time.